The golden session hall at the Royal Swedish Academy filled up early as the science world waited to hear who would be awarded chemistry's greatest prize and $900,000. As it turned out, three would become Nobel laureates. Denmark's Morten Meldahl and Americans Carolyn Bertozzi and Barry Sharpless. They received a prize for the development of click chemistry and bioorthogonal chemistry. Sharpless joins an elite group of five to have won two Nobel Prizes, the first coming in 2001. Now it's his discovery of a way of joining molecules together that has helped him and his fellow chemists to the 2022 award. The work of these three laureates sparked a revolution in their field, and it started with a little click, like this. Click chemistry is now being tested in targeted cancer pharmaceuticals and already has a host of uses in health, agriculture and industry. It works pretty much like uh, two buckles that you snap together and you can attach to these buckles uh, different types of uh, belts essentially. And then once you have a number of building blocks you can, you can build almost anything. It's Bertozzi who made that possible in living organisms as she pioneered bioorthogonal chemistry. It's a stunning shock, right? I mean, it was the, uh, the chair of the Nobel Prize Committee and his colleagues in the background called to say congratulations. I thought, you know, it's like a weird, surreal moment. Bertozzi also helps to somewhat write the gender imbalance. She's only the eighth female chemistry laureate alongside 182 men. The former president of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences, Christina Moberg, believes inequality is being reduced. There will be more winners because more women are becoming professors and making breakthroughs. No one can ever think they were chosen because they are a woman. What we can do is encourage more to be nominated because without that, you can't win a Nobel Prize. Click chemistry and bioorthogonal chemistry involve processes far beyond the reach of human vision. The Nobel Award has at least put them and their pioneers finally in the public eye. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Stockholm.